Right, so this is going to be the start of a, hopefully a series I'll be doing. And I'll be playing Pokemon Blue, as you can see here. And I'm going to be going through doing the Nuzlocke challenge, which some of you may know, some of you may not, so here's what it is. Doing the Nuzlocke challenge is basically playing a Pokemon game with additional rules, which you implement yourself, so as to make it more challenging and difficult, but also so you get a deeper bond with your Pokemon. In theory. Right, so the rules are as follows. If a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and is permanently stored in its own box. Extra Pokemon are sent to PC and not dead. Nickname all Pokemon caught. Well, that's simple enough. Okay, no healing items. That means if you want to heal up, go to a Pokemon Center. Catch the first Pokemon you see in the field. If it's a duplicate, or if it's in the same evolution line, like, I don't know, Geodude and Graveler, no dice. And then, no legendaries. Now those of you who have already seen some Nozlock fans will go, Hey, I haven't seen all those rules before! Or, you know, they're slightly different. Uh, I'm just catering to my own style of play, you know? And I just want, I want something that's a bit challenging and a bit different. But I also, I don't want to cry like a baby when I release Pokemon. So without further ado, here we go. You see, what I'd usually do is go to this PC and withdraw this potion, but no healing items. Mom! Mom! Just, just sh shut up, Mom. You gotta get me some Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Uh, Prof Oak's place is this one? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, I remember this. Because the first time I ever played Pokemon, I wandered around for for about 10 minutes until I figured out that I needed to actually try walking out without a Pokemon because I knew it was unsafe to walk in the wild grass. Man, Prof Oak, go give me some protection. Come on, come on, want me some Pokemon. No. I just thought Charmander was overrated. Oh. Mm. oh. God, I forgot how ugly they were. Uh, we'll go with this one. Fucking love Squirtle. <laughs> yeah, just give me the Squirtle, and you can leave. <sighs> yes. Yes, I have to nickname him. Can I spell it right? Yeah. That moment when he chooses the one that you're weak to. Every fucking time. Wow. Oh, look how intense this fight is. I bet Professor Oak's just standing there like, wow, I give them these two pets, which I've kept for years, and now they're betting them to fight to the death in front of me. Bad Bulbasaur. Hit him. Yeah, Nautilus! We did this! Hell yeah. I still have no idea what, what half of those do. Off we go! Uh, no healing items. Can my mum heal me? Pokemon Center music. She is a Pokemon Center. Right, so until I get critical hit, critical hit. Oh shit! I can't die yet. I'm already on the first bit. Level seven. You gonna fight me? Can't use that. You know that. Are on the road to Vidya City. Pokemon Center. Take Nautilus. Heal him. Say, hey, you wouldn't mind going on a date with me later? No? Oh, okay, okay, I'll just leave. No. Yeah, I came from Pallet Town. Yeah, I know, Profoke. Yeah! Awesome. Delivery boy at your service. 
And I can't buy any Pokeballs yet. There's... I'll just kick Professor Oak because I'm not paying attention. Oh, good there. I was my old Pokemon. Well, uh, he nearly died on the first route, but apart from that, perfectly fine. Grapes! See, it's just... It's the heartfelt tale of an old man sending two boys off to, into the world of monsters to go kill other monsters and record data on them. Yeah, well, I banged her, so <laughs> joke's on you. Ooh, Pokeballs! Give me my Pokeballs! Pokemon, gotta kill them all. My aim's so true. My bullets will run you through. I feel like I named my Pokemon better than I named myself. Huh. Alright, well, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.